Diplomats are working hard to resolve the conflict over Iran's nuclear ambitions. The international community has offered Tehran a range of economic incentives in exchange for a halt to its nuclear program. Euronews spoke in Brussels to Iran's chief negotiator, Ali Lariani. Mr. Lariani, welcome to Euronews. What about the incentives that uh, have been offered by the international community? What is the problem with these incentives for Iran? In fact, there's no problem with the incentives. What we need to understand is the goals behind these incentives. Are you going to establish a long-term goal of cooperation together? The direction of negotiations has to be the removal of obstacles so that we can agree on the proposals or the incentives, as you call them. We accept the principle of problem-solving through negotiations. Why are you saying that there is a problem to be solved if as you are saying, Iran is not ready to create a nuclear weapon. We have a clear nuclear program in Iran. Iran is a member of the AEIA and has signed the Non-Proliferation Treaty. The AEIA inspectors are doing their work in our facilities and they are inspecting our facilities. If any country feels ambiguous about our nuclear program, we are ready to help them clarify everything. Yeah, but the, the incentives that uh, are being offered, do you think are enough or do you expect something more? We're never against negotiations. We strongly believe these issues can be settled through negotiations. Iran's position is easy to understand. We've already said Iran is ready to take the steps needed to continue with negotiations and constructive interaction. We will do the groundwork. If there are certain ambiguities in the content of the package, that's not important. They can be resolved. Are you waiting for some guarantees that the United States will renounce to the use of force against Iran? More important than this guarantee are the policy attitudes of the United States in the region. They should change policies. Why do they have to speak with the language of force all the time in the region? They can use diplomacy. They can also implement constructive policies. Radical approaches towards regional issues can add to the problems. They can cause the oil price to rise. They can provoke tensions in the region. Do you think that uh, the European Union member states that are participating to such a negotiation are behaving uh, in a wiser way compared to the United States, of course, from the Iranian point of view? We think there are some countries in the European Union that are taking a more logical approach towards Iran and towards the nuclear program. We think there's an opportunity and potential for better cooperation between the two sides. If you look at the opportunities that exist in Iran and the opportunities that exist in Europe, we can work together more constructively. For example, we can provide energy security for Europe. And this is a very good base for greater bilateral cooperation. Thank you very much, Mr. Lariani.